Hello, and thank you for joining me for today's relaxing wander in Elden Ring. This is my very first Soulsborne game ever, and I am loving it so far. The combat is challenging but rewarding, the world is mysterious and engaging, and the graphics are beautiful. There are some incredible vistas, landscapes, and artwork in this game. And you know what else has incredibly beautiful artwork? That's right, it's this t-shirt from this video's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM will hook you up with awesome graphic tees so that you can rep that Elden Ring aesthetic even when you're not in the game. They have all kinds of designs ranging from kind of spooky, like this spooky looking castle with a big moon in the sky, to psychedelic, to sort of more natural, all kinds of stuff. And you can save 10% on your entire purchase at Into the AM using the link down in the video description. And your purchase through that link will help support the channel as well, which of course I appreciate very, very much. Into the AM has a deal where you can get three exclusively licensed graphic tees for 60 bucks, and then you can save 10% using that link. And if you've been to Into the AM before, you've seen their designs, but it's been a little while, make sure you click on through because Into the AM is getting new awesome designs all the time. So once again, that link down at the video description and at the top of the comments will save you 10% on your purchase at Into the AM and will support the channel as well. Big shout out to Into the AM for sponsoring this video and thank you to those of you who purchase through that link. I know you're going to love their tees. I love them. I wear them all the time. So without further ado, let's head on in to the world of Elden Ring. Hello, my friends. It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and welcome to Elden Ring. Today, we are going to take a slow, relaxing wander through this first area called Limgrave. Limgrave. The world of Elden Ring can be surprisingly relaxing and beautiful. In a very dark and fantastical kind of way. But it's full of Gorgeous, evocative vistas, lush forests and fields, and all manner of terrifying beasts which we are not going to be engaging with today. <laughs> this is going to be such a peaceful wander, as a matter of fact, that I don't even have a weapon equipped. We're just planning on a stroll. So, without further ado, let's head out. See what we can find in Limgrave. As a matter of fact, before we head off into that part of the area, let's head back this way, because there are some really pretty views off in this direction. And if you're worried about spoilers, don't be. There will be no story spoilers in this video. And 
this is the first area that you have access to after the little opening part, so not much to be spoiled here. Look at those waves out in the distance, the sunlight glinting off the waves. The sun is low in the sky, it must be sunset. See the waves are rolling into shore. You can actually hear the waves in the far distance. Listen. Very faintly. Perched up above there, looking somewhat foreboding in the distance, is Castle Stormvale. Stormvale. We won't be heading up there today. We're just going to enjoy the scenery down here. Look at the birds flying in the sky up there. And you can see way out to sea a bunch of shipwrecks. Unlucky vessels wrecked at sea. And of course, all manner of crumbling ruins across the landscape. And then we have these gorgeous golden trees glowing in the distance. That one over there is very pretty, but perhaps the most striking is the one you already saw. I believe this is the Erd tree. I think they've been calling it the Erd tree, those you know, that I've spoken to. But I know very little about the Erd tree, what it does, why it's here. But it casts its light all across Limgrave and beyond. Love this dramatic lighting and the colors in the sky at this time of day. Okay, we have a couple of eagle friends here. They don't spook very easily. If we get really close, they'll fly away. But I don't really want to disturb them. They're just enjoying the sunset like we are. I think they might have flown down below us here. Waves crashing against the shore. A glowing skull, which we could smash for some currency, but that's not very relaxing, is it? Just below us here, there's a mighty waterfall. That's the sound you're hearing. And then these things. I don't know what these are, but they're very cute. They look like little mouse, kangaroo hybrids. A little spazzy, but they're very cute. The dynamic shadows are so pretty. And the detail on the side of this structure, just caught by the last rays of the sun, is exceptionally pretty. All the texture and detail that's brought out as the sun sets. Some beautiful foliage, flowers of all kinds can be found in Limgrave. Many of them glow with an ethereal light. They can be used to make all manner of poultices and 
useful items, all kinds of things. Now, you might see one monster in the distance there. That's the only monster that I have not been able to clean up around here for us. And that's because the tree guardian, that's his name, is a big jerk. Uh, he's a very unpleasant individual. And we are going to go wide around him. Because I really have no intention of encountering him, <laughs> facing him here now. The good news is, it's easy to ignore him. We'll just go this way. The trees around here are so vividly colored. I mean, that's a huge one in the sky, but even the smaller ones around us here. Ah, some of the other inhabitants here. A sheep. The sheep roll. Did you see that? Look at her roll away. I've never seen a sheep talk and roll before. <laughs> but you know, that would make them dizzy. Another sheep? Is he gonna roll? Nope, just ran away. Look at all the little flowers. Oh, look. I'm gonna get a rain shower. It's very nice. Get to listen to the pitter patter of the rain as we walk through this field of flowers. Of course, at night time, <laughs> we do have one thing that's not so relaxing, which is, you might have seen earlier as we circumvented that uh, mounted guardian, uh, there were some, some bodies uh, crucified up there, <laughs> hanging on some, some poles, and uh, Near as I can tell, those bodies, they, they scream at night. It's like the whales of the damned <laughs> as they hang there. Uh, so, again, we're going to just try and stay away from them because it's really not especially relaxing. But out here, you can't really hear them. So, you can just enjoy the rain sound. The wind. And back down the slope where we can go is down to this little church here I forget what it's called it has a name I think we'll find out when we get down there but there's a friendly chap down there very strange character very unique Garb, but a friendly chap nonetheless. I love the sound of the rain. Church of LA. That's right. Uh, this is a light of grace, I think they call it. Sort of a campfire like spot. And here is a literal campfire. And this fellow I mentioned. Oh, let's do it crackling. That's quite pleasant. Forget this fellow's name off the top of my head. He's got a fascinating instrument, look. 
very long necked instrument. And then what looks to be a hand on a stick. I don't know if he plays it with that. Maybe so. He's also got a very fancy hat. And a pack mule. Or something like a mule. In the background there. You know, it's downright cozy here, isn't it? <laughs> but, there's more to see. So, let's head out this way into the grove. Gosh, that's striking. Isn't it beautiful? Utterly enrapturing. I think in the very far distance, we might still be able to hear the wails of the damned, you know? A long way away. Look at that, the rain has stopped. And the shadows are shifting. And deepening in some ways. Oh, here's the leftovers of the fellow I disposed with earlier. We're going to bring out our own torch. Hmm? It's kind of nice. Provides a bit of warmth and light here. As we traverse the forest. You can hear in the distance, just this way actually. A sound. Oh look, a deer. That sound is uh, some kind of strange beetle. A beetle that refills your flasks when killed. It's, it's on the other side of the structure over there. We don't really have any reason to go after it though. Here are dense and lush. So many flowers. Look at them all. There might be some winged enemies just over their eyes here. Yes, there they go. Sort of imp like creatures. A little bit larger. Gargoyles, perhaps. I don't know. I'm going to leave them alone. I don't really want to encounter them right now, but they're not too difficult. Got a beautiful statue here as well. I can't remember the name of the goddess off the top of my head, but she seems to always be depicted without hands. I've noticed. And up ahead, the gates into Stormvale Castle. Look at that, we've got some more rain. I'm not going to head into the castle like I mentioned. Instead, we'll just continue enjoying the forest. There's a boar. Minding its own business. Rooting around in the dirt. Some more deer. Just off in the distance there. Yeah, let's put our torch away. Let's just enjoy. The dramatic natural light. Oh, 
we scared the deer? Oh, once again the shadow shift. I'm not quite sure what the day-night situation is in this place, because there does appear to be a sun of some kind. Uh, some kind of diurnal cycle. Uh, there appear to be stars in the sky as well, beyond the wispy clouds. But we also have the light of the Erd tree up there in the sky, of course. Oh, and a moon. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that moon in the sky. That is very pretty. If you look carefully, you can see lines and craters on the moon. Fascinating. I don't know the nature of the realm that we're in, but it's beautiful. Oh, and some more rain. <laughs> These systems are really moving through. Uh, this is, of course, a cave. <laughs> and uh, just so happens there are some enemies here in Groveside Cave that I have not dealt with. Well, I have dealt with them in the past, but uh, we won't go down there right now. It's, it's dark and scary in Groveside Cave. But I just wanted to come down here and show you this little statue here. They're scattered throughout the world as well. I guess this is a representation of those unfortunate crucified souls that we see outside. I don't know what the significance is. This fire's cozy. Glowing mushroom right there. glowing flowers. Oh, and the rain dissipates once again. The weather here is so fickle. I love watching the shadows just slide across the forest floor. Dappled shadows on the grass. Here's a little pond. Peaceful little spot, actually. These gorgeous flowers, so vibrant. There are giant dragonflies that make their home here. They're slightly aggressive, but not so bad. And then, I think the favorite, my favorite creature that I've encountered so far. This tortoise, this massive ancient tortoise. The tortoise is not aggressive at all. It just very slowly goes about its business. I bet it's ancient. I'm glad we have a tortoise friend here in Limgrave. Look at all those stars in the sky. Sparkling away. They almost sweep across the sky, look. They sparkle faintly. Sort of sweeping across the sky. These are ruins that you can see behind this thicket of trees here. These ruins, as far as I can tell, they fell from the sky. They 
crash from the heavens? I don't know why they fell, who created them, but they're quite evocative. Very pretty. Covered with ivy slowly crumbling away. I see some more eagles up ahead. Lots of eagles around Limgrave. Some kind of insect. It's not quite a cricket. Listen. As soon as I mention it, it just has to make a liar out of me. In addition to the eagles, I've also seen some owls around. Although I don't see any here now. Just the eagles. I do believe if we head over this way, we'll have a lovely view out over the ocean once again. Like so. And also of some grotesque beasties, sort of giant kelp monsters roaming around on the beach down there. Which is why we're not going to the beach right now. I've not tried fighting them yet. I don't know how challenging they are, but they look big. They've got long, snaky tentacles. I bet they're a challenge. And on the path down to the beach, you can also see... I believe it's a troll of some kind. Now that troll I have fought, and I have vanquished. But it was not easy. He's slow, but very powerful, and quite large. It's hard to tell from here. The scale is a little tricky to judge, but he's very big. But aside from the beasties, we have a lovely view across to this island with the ruins. Beautiful glowing tree in the distance. And that structure over there with the big statue on top. That's where we began our wander today. Love how you can see these shafts of gold and light coming down from the earth tree. really is an incredibly striking sight. Well, my friends, I think this is probably a good place for us to end off our wander here tonight. I hadn't really planned for it to be a nighttime wander, but it's somewhat appropriate. It's nice and dark and Hopefully, oh my goodness, suddenly a storm blows in. <laughs> well, I get some nice rain at least. I do love the sound of rain. And our cloak will billow epically in the wind. Uh, hopefully, it's helped you relax. Perhaps it will help you sleep. I thank you very much joining me on today's wonder. Elden Ring is absolutely enrapturing in its beauty, and I'm certain there are many more diverse and gorgeous environments to wander through elsewhere. 
in Elden Ring. So, if you would like to see more like this, it would be my absolute pleasure to wander further in the lands of Elden Ring. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see more. Thank you again for joining me today. And I look very